back to California Gardener. Today I'll show you how to grow your pumpkins on a trellis. Pumpkins are a vining plant so they love to crawl all over your garden but the best way to keep them in one place is to grow them up a trellis. So you can build some sort of framework either on a wood, some other pre-made trellis but it needs to be pretty strong because these pumpkins are heavy. So as you see behind me I built the trellis out of uh, one by ones and then uh, small crossbars. Uh, it actually folds open but this year I just screwed it to the fence and they're gonna grow up at the back uh, of the fence. I'll show you a few pictures from last season to show you exactly how well these pumpkin trellises work. Okay so here's one of my pumpkins from last fall. This is a Cinderella pumpkin. Still doing well. Picked it probably way back in September but they last a long time if you keep them in a cool environment. So you can use them throughout the winter and into next spring uh, up until when you'll be planting your garden. Uh, this is uh, what I call a pumpkin hammock. I just tie them up using some rope, uh, tie two strings, then cross the strings back and forth, tying knots. So then basically it holds the pumpkin just like this. So the pumpkin pretty much just hangs like that from the pumpkin hammock. So you, once you, the pumpkin is growing, it's at a small size, you put the hammock underneath it and the pumpkin will actually grow into the hammock. So you don't have to worry about balancing the pumpkin on the hammock, it'll just grow and fit it and actually support itself on the hammock. So give it a try, it works great. When you're planting your pumpkins or squash, you should plant a few close together uh, in case the seeds don't all come up and that way you at least have one plant that'll come up there. But what if they all come up? Well then you'll have a situation that looks like this where we have you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, who knows how many plants uh, close together. So you really should thin those out so that they can grow bigger. And right now, this plant is pretty good. I'm going to pull out the uh, this one right here, smaller one, and then just chuck it on the side. It'll compost down. I'm going to leave those two until one gets a little bit bigger. That way, I'll know which one to pull out for sure. And then, uh, and then uh, I'll just leave one plant to grow big and uh, produce, I think these are zucchinis actually, and see how they do. So that's just how you thin your pumpkins and squash out to make sure they grow uh, better. So sometimes down here in California, the organic gardening is tough. When it's tough, I recommend using this ortho, flower, fruit and vegetable insect killer, usually just for the start of your plant's growth when they're brand new and spreading out of the garden. If you don't want those bugs to mow down that whole row of seedlings, just spray